you, Mr. Speaker. This past weekend marked the 100th anniversary of the 109th Battalion CEF leaving for the battlefields of World War I. Lady Eaton presented colours to the men from Victoria and Halliburton counties, the first time a woman presented battalion colours. The 109th Battalion was raised by local MP Sir Sam Hughes as part of the Buddies and Chums recruitment drive. So many recruits came from the small areas around our region to serve King and Country. Uh, I want to honour the men from all the areas, but the North Section, the deep platoons who came from Halliburton, Minden, Goodrum, Harcourt, uh, Highland Grove, Torrey Hill, and my hometown of Kimmount, where my grandfather Scott was Private uh, Wallace Scott and was uh, proudly served overseas. They joined the platoon from the south in Victoria County. Small towns like Argyle, Woodville, Omimi, Lindsay, they too often, I think, we think of things of these events as only about soldiers, battles, and casualties. But World War One was a total war on the home front as well, where everyone was part of the effort. Groups raised funds for soldiers, comforts and, and benefit. They bought victory bronze, planted victory gardens, and wrote letters to keep up morale. Women and children replaced men as workers on farms and in factories. Nurses volunteered. Children did fundraisers. Every group contributed so many ways. The Great War is one that we will always remember, not just because of the self-sacrifice to defend the values of freedom and justice, but because it brought communities together. And I want to thank the Victoria County Historical Society for reenacting that wave off. Thank you.